All right, so we have SAS Soldier breaks down clean house mission in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, expert reacts. Let's go right to the video. This is Mark Billy Billingham. He served in the British SAS for over 17 years, really? has been responsible for planning and executing strategic operations across the world, is a certified counter-terrorism instructor, okay. has led countless hostage rescues, wow. as well as much more. Okay. Today, he's joining us to break down Modern Warfare 2019's iconic SAS clean house mission. I like this mission. You know, having been part in some of this stuff, that, that to me felt really good, really, really realistic. We've got a few more videos with Mark oh, Land taking through many more of the Call of Duty SAS missions across the franchise, so be sure to subscribe for that. And if you want to see more of Billy Billingham, you can check out the links to all of his socials. Is this card well four, right? His new book, Survive to Fight, in the description below. Right, over to Billy. Sergeant Garrick, thanks to your intel, yes, sir. The cell responsible for the Piccadilly attack to a townhouse in North London. Three SAS teams will get inside and connect the dots. If the wolf is in possession of the stolen Russian gas in Uzbekistan, we need to find it. The scenario is great. The setup, you know, something happening in a faraway land that's going to have a massive impact on something and then related it back to a situation that led to the initial intel, like the, the bomb there going off in London and yeah. linking people. If you look that was back crazy, at the bro. bombings, that's kind of how it all started and linked to things that the network opened up all around the globe. You know, nobody expected it to be as big as it was. And this is basically, so the scenario is basically what I'm saying is pretty good, pretty realistic. Be okay. advised, there may be non-combatants on target. Check your shots. Verbal there was saying, you know, there will be unarmed civilians involved. It goes without saying, but it does get said. You know, we just remind ourselves that although it's aggressive, it's still sensitive. Okay. I can't lie, bro. This scene looked, bro. Well, this bit here, I, I did pick on this before. Your first man who's opening the gate is concentrating on the gate. The guy to his right shouldn't be watching him open the lock. He should be looking for him. You know, but that's very minor detail. But other than that, it's good. The little bit punch, but it's good. Okay. This mission looked good, though. Okay, so it's a simultaneous attack. We've got verbal and visual comms, which is good. You know, and you're doing a simultaneous attack. So the first thing you want to do is, as you're breaching, okay, it's it's very controlled as well on the communications. You know, Alpha One's in position, Bravo One's in position. Everybody's into one position. We're all outside the building. Okay. All call signs, stand by, and move. So okay. now everybody's moving. So now I'm expecting to see somebody come down the alleyway. Because although he's moving forward, he looks down the alleyway and he tells you somebody else has moved to their position. You get that, but that would be more control because that could have been anybody, to be honest. True. You know, you look, you're seeing somebody, is that the guy's moving, is that the enemy? So just a very minor point, but just something to bear in mind. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um, you know, you probably get a scream out of it. Yeah, I was about to season. say it. I was literally about to say that. Like, I like at first you covered her mouth and then you just threw threw <laughs> I'm not laughing at her getting thrown down, but like in my head I'm like, okay, wait a minute. If you if you throw the girl down, like you cover her mouth and then you're like, okay, let me just remove my hand from her mouth and just throw her down, she's most likely still gonna like scream or say something. But like again, it's a game. We're not going to like you know. I understand. But he's on it pretty quick, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. He, he identified the guy at the end of the table who's obviously, I'm assuming, you know, you'd have had pictures of your, what you call your x-rays, your terrorists. So if I identify him, but the, the thing with that is, in a fucking law court today, you'd be lucky. Why did you shoot him? Why didn't you detain him? You could say his hands are not seen. He could have a weapon on him, but he could have. You know, that might be a good reason for that person at the front to make that decision. That's his decision. But looking at that there, you know, you don't see a weapon threat. What should have possibly, might have got in, he's just gone in. 
give them a quick challenge without trying to, you know, create too much of a fuss. There is a weapon on the table, which the guy to the left went for, so that's fair game. Bear, yeah. Bearing on intelligence, though, you know, they may be using uh, IEDs, you yep. know, initiation packet under the table or next to which you could have just grabbed, so that justifies the existence of what you're doing. So I understand that. that mm -hmm. but otherwise, yeah, it's good movement. Okay. Yeah, it's good visual visual communication to check where each yeah, everybody is. Nah, bro, this scene was so oh, real, bro. Yeah, movement's good. You got you got the back ears coming to the right. They're all covering different angles. Nobody moves around like this. They just don't because you, you tunnel vision. You're bumping into it. You are the weapons are here, and although it's a state of eye readiness, there are people against them. Yeah. You still because you can actually fire from there. Bang, 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 and then come up into the aim if you really need to. Mm, okay. Oh. Ah. See, it's, the thing with this now for me is there's been a number of shootings, people screaming and shouting. So this is now what is called gone noisy. You know, we're still moving pretty tactically, which is fair enough, but yeah. it's gone noisy. People are screaming and shouting. There'd be f lights on everywhere, probably. And for us, it's probably now best to just I, you take know, off, yeah. use the light. There's women screaming and shouting, don't shoot. This yeah, thing. bro. So the whole house is alive. However, let's stay with the stealth thing because that's what we've got here. The movement's good. Yeah. The target indication's good and it's aim shots. It's not automatic and craziness. The other bits and pieces you've got there is obviously what you don't see on this, which is fair enough, is as you take a room and you've cleared it, if there's bodies in there or people in there, then you've got to leave people behind to contain it. Make sure it's more secure. Oh yeah, when you shot at the thing, yep. That's a bit wild. Yeah. That's floor secure. I was saying just blasting behind the door like that probably wouldn't happen because again there might be kids in there, might be civilians. You've got a collateral damage you gotta think about. Yeah. I don't think I shot through the when I sorry to pause it, but I whenever I played this mission, I don't think I shot through the door back. I think I remember when it, I think uh which one I think when they shot through the door and hit my uh hit my partner or whatever. And then, you know, uh one of one of the one of my one of my dudes or one of my um one of my partners, whatever, uh, picked him up and like pulled him back and like got him, like got him out of like you know like harm's way, whatever. I opened the door, like I peeked the door open and shot him. I don't, I don't, or maybe I don't know. I forgot what did I do. It was like two years ago, bro. I know I didn't shoot through the door though. I didn't know I didn't shoot through the door back, but, but yeah. Bravo six, moving to the second floor. Okay, Sorry for yeah. pausing. Floor clear, moving on. Is it this one? Oh, is this one? Yup, yup. Oh my god. Pause there for a second. Again, I mean, you systematically clear the building. And this is the thing with this stuff. When you do this, you literally have to clear every, every room. Time. So when it got, when it got, you want it to go noisy. As soon as the first rounds have gone down, it's gone noisy. That's it. We're on. It's on. Let's go. Bang, bang, bang. And you've got to clear everything from the toilet. A cubby hole to, for that whatever reason, they went past that door there. I don't know why. It looks like they were going to leave that and go past it. Yeah. That's the reason. He walked past it. Then he got a few rounds through the door, which is it hit one of the, um, so we've got a casualty now. And then you can't go to automatic fire through a door. Because yeah. again, and, and we've had this, you know, we've gone into a target. Exactly that rounds are coming through the door. You've got to still suppress the fire and make sure you can see what you're, you're aiming at. So basically what you probably do there is just hold it outside the door, thunder flash in, create that. Distraction door opening me in and in. See yeah. what you're shooting at. You can't just go shooting blind because inevitably what you will have is, and we've had it, I've had this kids lined up in there or rolled up in carpets, you know. So, answer is again, you can't just go throwing the AG grid explosive, I explosive grenades in there. It's, oh. the collateral damage is key. There's oh. a lot of kids in there. There's already sure. women in there, as you see. True. So, yeah. as opposed to they should have stacked on that door. Cleared that room, moved on. They didn't clear the room, they walked past it, paid the price, took a casualty. And like I said, the drills there have to become the same control, aggressive, but, but fast. And you've got to identify a target. You can't just fire blind. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, you look like he's popping up with a weapon. Good first one, the shot on the way in. Okay, okay yeah. Deals. Good yeah. move. Oh, there's a baby in there too. Bedroom clear. There was a bear, bro. Uh, I think the saddest part was like there was a baby in there too. Get those rooms clear. I think there was like a baby upstairs. See, even more, more key of what I said earlier on there. It's gone really noisy now. Just get those lights on. Get that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with, with him on that one, bro. Y'all might as well just turn the lights on, bro. Casualty there. What we do have is, you know, we'll have our own patrol medics. Okay. We're, we're all. You know, patrol medic to a degree. Okay. But on most of the raids that we did, these places where we did these raids, we'd have, the medic would be with us. He'd be at the back. So as the, you've already said, room bottom floor was clear. So he'd be in the, he'd be there. While you're cleaning the first floor, he'd be outside. As soon as that first floor's clear, he'd be coming in. So if there is casualties, he can uh, go deal with it. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you can't afford to leave manpower behind. That's 25% of your, your your firepower gone in your yeah. team. It breaks up the teams. You've got to keep the teams together as best you can. So that medic would deal with that as quick as possible. If that, like it is there, to be fair, that floor is not clear yet. You'd have to hold on the floor, get the medic in, and then move on again. Oh, the more you know, I didn't even know that. So as they move up, moving on to the third floor now. So two floors secure. The movement's great. The crossing over arcs, keep it visual with each other is good. The weapon out there and movement is good. It's realistic. It's not this up in the eyes, you know, channel, channel vision. No, no, no. Oh, no. When, when she went for the gun, bro. Ah, man. That's tough. When she went for the gun, bro, I had to do it, bro. Shut the kid up. I had to do it. When she went for the gun, bro, that's... Okay, you're right. So, again, I'm just watching this here. Obviously, as I alluded to earlier, when you've got people, casualties and um, non-casualties, you have to leave people behind to contain them. And which he did there. The guy stayed with the woman and the kid, got them suppressed. But then this guy here moving on, it does happen. I ain't going to say it don't happen. It does happen because you have to move quick. You just take, have to take that risk. But ideally, you won't move into that room until somebody's on your shoulder. There's two of us. Mm. Okay, so you get that shoulder, I'm with you. Let's go. But moving through and going down a corridor, he's flashbanged another room and he's gone in. He's gone in his own. It's a general rule we wouldn't do that or we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying we don't do it. Yeah. So we can call this this is pretty realistic. Okay. But in the in the best scenario, he's on your shoulder. Okay. So you get whacked, you can continue that fight. Because if you're on your own out there, I'm now watching these children and, and looking for anybody else in that room. My back's really turned. If he's been shot, the guys come back into this room, then you're you've got two casualties. It's yep. minor stuff, but it's it. but there, there is realism there. Definitely realism because it does happen, you know. Okay. It's all great to have these this is how it should happen, but and the reality when you call light of day, when you're in there, it all goes peaked on. The, the rounds are going out, it's yep. gone noisy, things do change, so mm -hmm. it is realistic. Nice. Again, he's moving on night vision goggles. The fact that you come into that room and there's light on there, you get blinded. Yeah, you know? I was saying, yeah, it just, it just burns out just for a few I seconds. I mean, I wasn't really thinking about that though, if I'm being real. So the thing is, they just you flip that thing up and just keep going. Because you can't afford to stand there messing around. So bang, flick it up, rather than try and shoot out the light. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You get your shot out of the light, that's fine. Yeah. Oh no, this is when this is where I shot the girl. Yeah, this is where you shot the this is where I shot the girl. Right? No, get down, get down! Don't shoot! Don't shoot, please! Oh, uh, this is where I shot the girl. They were going to kill Come me! On. Just get down, just get down, just get down. Just stop! Clear. Yep. Fair game. Yep. I mean, yep. he good. said stop, that bro. Really good actually, because I mean, you know, you've come in, you, you, you. Of course, she's frightened. She's scared. However, she's being given direction, told to stand Towards still, or down, or whatever's been told, and or she's a bomb. bolted. Yep. There's no reason why she's bolted. I mean, you've got to make that decision yourself. Why have you just done that? She could, she could be going for a weapon. She could have a weapon. She could have a vest on. 
because a lot of the targets you're up against now, you know, are some suicide bombers. There's already been noise in the house. She's definitely already been alerted, I'd imagine. So tensions are high. I didn't see a weapon, but we'll see. They were going to kill Come me. On. They Stop. locked me in here. Drop her. Just stop. Clear. All teams turn She's going to go for a detonator, bro. Roger. Good terminology there. You know, all floors are secure. Move to SSE. SSE means collect all evidence. This all is right. now where if you identify the bodies completely, you'd be taking all the ID, information required okay. the hard drives yeah, yeah, yeah any weapons any equipment anything that's visual that you think documentation that's been collected now okay for evidence you go in, you're really into the forensic side of it and that's a quick process so it does have to happen quick so that's pretty good and pretty realistic from what i remember she was going for a bloody detonator good job we dropped it in we made the right call sir what about your house we've got a location on a wolf Overall, I actually think it was very realistic. Few minor points, and it's easy to pick little minor things, you know. Some of the, 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 the movement was good. Yeah. The equipment's good. I'm looking at what they're carrying now, they're carrying it. Their movement's good the way they move themselves. The communication, visual verbal communication, paramount. Without it, it goes to ratchet. There's good visual and verbal communication all the way through. Okay. The relaying, the talking, the, you can see them looking at each other, crossing over arcs, making sure the weapons are, are covered. So that's all good. It's really good. The tactics are pretty good. The only things I've picked up is, is moving on your own, going noisy early. Once it goes noisy, rounds are going down. I don't care, care how covert you think you are. So we could have gone noisy a bit early. And if, when I went by going noisy, it's then down to screaming and shouting to each other. Yeah. Aggressive movement, light, as much light as you need. You need the light. You know, yeah. it's great working in all this sort of stuff. You can take it that maybe there's no power in the buildings because some of these don't have, so then you stay in as you are. Or they cut the power. But in that case, there was. And the scenario was great. Real good scenario. Makes sense based on a lot of, obviously, uh, good intelligence you've been given there for that. And that's very realistic to the modern day sort of counter -terror. One thing I wanted to say before the video ends, I'm glad that, I'm actually kind of glad that it was... It was a very similar, but it was also different, you know, because I understand there would be some people out there that be like, oh, you know, um, you know, like like this man said, um, oh, I forget his name already. My bad. Um, but like this man said, like, you know, like this, like the former SAS soldier said, you know, the movement was good, you know, like like a lot of things that they were doing in real life or a lot of things that would have like or, or a lot of things or a lot of things that was in the game they would do in real life. So yeah, like he said, that is true. But like I kind of like how it's different. You know, I kind of like how, you know, there will be like some um there'll be some there'll be like some some, some situations or some, like some some things in the game that wouldn't happen in real life, you know. I kind of like that because it's, it is different, you know. I I like when stuff is different. Like and um and so yeah, like the whole thing with the flashbangs, I understand that. Best believe I was spamming the flashbangs, bro. I was not getting shot. I literally was throwing flashbangs, flashbangs off the wall like we've seen like, uh, in a previous clip. So, yeah, I understand, like, you know, some stuff like the flashbangs and stuff like that and, like, the um, the night vision goggles and stuff. But, like, I, I like how it was, like, a little different. But, like he said, most of it was uh, most of it was similar. So, um, and, and this is this is coming from a, a person that was actually out in the field. You know, a person that was actually out, you know, uh, getting dirty. So, there's global war against terrorism that we're up against. And, you know, having been part in some of this stuff, that, that to me felt really good, really, okay. really realistic. Okay. And to be fair, again, there are mistakes being made. It should be because we make mistakes. Mm -hmm. As I said to you, we try to move in pairs all the time. Sometimes you get a, bit, a little bit carried away and you're off on your own and you get away with it. Sometimes you might not. Overall, really, really good. I'm not a games that's nice. person, that's just got me into it. It's got me hooked a little bit. Really? I'll bet your house. Huge thanks to Billy Billingham for joining us on Billy this video. Billy Billingham. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit Shout the like button you, and subscribe as we've more on the way. And of course, be sure to check out Billy's new book, all the links to which will be in Billy the description Billingham. below. Billy Billingham, okay. Thanks for watching. Hey man, shout out to Billy Billingham, bro. Or Mark Billy Billingham uh, for, um, uh, yeah, for this video. Uh, I mean, my bad. Shout out to GameSpot for the video, but you know what I'm saying. Other than that, that was a very interesting video. Again, Clint House is one of my, one of my favorite missions. I've said this time and time again. 
We've even we've even like reacted to it like on the on his uh on, on his channel and um and I told y'all bro, Clean House is one of the best missions, Call of Duty missions that I've seen. And there's a lot of good Call of Duty missions out there, but like this was like step by step like real life like this is the type of stuff you see in like in movies or like in the, in like a TV show, bro. Like this is crazy. Shout out to Activision for that. Uh, but other than that, Modern Warfare Two is coming out. Ah, <sighs> bro, I've seen like the trailer. I've seen like a couple shots where like you know they're uh, in like a building or like this like they're in like somebody's like back alleyway or like backyard or whatever. I can't wait till that comes out. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and.